Hi, today we are in Mandra on the Peel Harvey Estuary and we are going to go crabbing. It is really important that before we go crabbing, we check the rules and weather conditions. Safety is top priority. If you can't swim, then we recommend you don't go crabbing. The size limit for blue swimmer crabs is 127 millimetres. We measure the crabs across the widest part of their shell using a crab gauge. It's really important that we use an accurate crab gauge when measuring our crabs. Different seasons and bag limits apply in different locations. The bag limit in the Peel Harvey Estuary is 10 crabs per person fishing per day. Large fines do apply for breaches of the rules. When we get our crabs, we need to check the underside. If it has eggs, then it is a buried female. She is a protected species and must be put back in the water gently and immediately. It's a beautiful day. Let's go crabbing. When scooping for crabs, we use a crab scoop net. There are limitations on the gear that you can use when crabbing. Make sure you go to the fisheries website or Wreckfish West app to check before you go crabbing. Come on, let's go see if we can find some. This crab here is a male. We can tell because it's bright blue color. When we flip it over, we also see that its flap here is very narrow. There's also, of course, no eggs. To safely hold a crab, we hold it by its back legs, also called swimmerettes. This way we can't get nipped by the claws. When we measure the crab, we put one end of the gauge on the tip of its shell there, and then we swing the gauge over to see if it is size. The shell doesn't touch the gauge. This crab is too small, so it must be released back into the water immediately. See this one here? It's more brown in colour. That means it's a female. So we're going to grab it by the back swimmerette and turn it over and make sure that she doesn't have any eggs. No eggs, flip it back over and we're going to measure the widest part of its shell. Using the crab gauge, we put one end on the tip here, swing the gauge and see if it connects with the shell. It doesn't touch the shell, therefore the crab is undersized, so she goes back in the water. When you are crabbing, make sure that you count your crabs as you go. Once you have reached your bag limit of 10 in the Peel Harvey Estuary, you need to stop crabbing. By carefully handling and releasing undersized and buried crabs, you are helping make sure there will be plenty of large, healthy crabs to catch in the future. I hope you have a great day crabbing and remember to fish for the future.